This video is brought to you by the Deck of Many and their pre-order sale for their 5e animated reference cards at animatedspells.com. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. One of the new premium painted lines from WizKids is for Arc Devils and Demon Lords for D&D, but we've only had one entering the line so far, the Demon Lord Orcus here who came out in January of this year, but feels like so much longer ago to me. But now we have the second one, the Arc Devil Jerion, one of the rulers of the fifth layer of the Nine Hells, a frozen sea known as Stygia. According to the lore, he's 10 feet tall with a serpentine body that's 30 feet long, ending in a venom-tipped barb. He has bat-shaped wings with huge bestial arms that end in animalistic paws. He goes by many names, the Serpentine Lord, the Great Beast, the Lord of the Fifth, but also by a few less honorable titles like the Deposed Lord, the Forgotten Lord, and the Broken Beast. Me, I, I just call him Jerry. So we'll take a look at him in a second, but be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video for the second winner of our Heartbeat Dice giveaway. But that out of the way, let's get Jerry here out of the box, learn his history, and see how he stacks up with our other premium figures like Orcus here. Above all else, Jerion is a hunter. While many rulers of the underworld would like to keep their distance from the front lines of the battles and the blood war and other conflicts, Jerion likes to put his claws into foes and rend them apart. Though he immediately washes his hands afterward, as according to the lore, he's pretty much the Howie Mandel of Arc Devils, wanting to keep his hands and immediate surroundings immaculately clean. He's one of the smaller Arc Devils, but terrifyingly strong and able to sap the strength of his foes with his venom. He also has arcane abilities and quite the tactical mind, but not tactical enough to avoid being exiled by Asmodeus. Control of Stygia was then transferred to Levistus, who spends his days chilling out on his frozen throne, locked in a block of ice. Now, a seemingly endless war rages across the frozen wastelands of Stygia between Gerion's armies and those of Levistus, with control of the realm bouncing back and forth between the two. The large horn he's carrying here is the Horn of the Bull, a powerful magical artifact that can summon 5d4 minotaurs into the service of whoever blew it. Some say the minotaurs are stolen from the ranks of the armies of Baphomet and are enslaved, but no one really knows for sure. In Earth lore, Jerion began as an opponent of Hercules, who had three heads or three bodies or some such thing. The modern D&D version came from Dante's Inferno, though, where he lives between the seventh and eighth circles of hell, where he works as an Uber driver summoned by Virgil. Look it up. Jerion has a CR-22 stat block in Morden Kanan's Tome of Foes. He's listed as a huge fiend with the base size here to match, and he has legendary actions, resistances, and layer actions at his recently reclaimed ancient fortress known as Cold Steel. As Morden Kanan himself said, which is less worthy, the Arc Devil who leads a lair while being trapped in a block of ice, or the Arc Devil who can't outmaneuver a frozen adversary? Jerion has an MSRP of $49.99. He's available in some stores now and should be getting a wider release over the next few weeks. I think we're going to be seeing more rolling release dates like this going forward. Let me know what you think about old Jerry here in the comments section below, and what Arc Devil or Demon Lord do you want to see next? We have stat blocks for quite a few of them in Morden Kanan's Tome of Foes. Now, for the winner of our Heart Beast Dice Giveaway. If you haven't seen our video about these colorful pride-themed dice, go check it out in that floating eye up there. Heartbeat was kind enough to give us two gift certificates to give away, and the winner of the second one is Drew Adams. Congratulations, buddy. Let me know what you decide to pick up with it. And please be sure to check out the sale going on right now from our sponsor, the Deck of Mini. Grabbing some awesome animated reference cards and letting our friends at Hit Point Press and the Deck of Mini know that you heard about them from us helps keep us on the air. Without their kind support over the years, we probably wouldn't be able to do this. Go check out all their beautiful and handy animated spell cards, condition cards, townsfolk NPCs, 
monsters, items, and in-game magical decks like the Deck of Many and the Deck of Illusions at AnimatedSpells.com and tell them the Gallant Goblin sent you. And thank you for watching today. If you like my shirt here and want to see more like it, check out our merch store at GallantGoblin.com shop. Come support us directly and help influence our coverage and join the family at Patreon.com slash the Gallant Goblin. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Liking the video here and subscribing to the channel also helps keep us on the air. So for now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>